What's up everybody, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how women are sometimes treated in the workplace, especially in the automotive industry, and what society calls the male-dominated industries. Let's just get right into it. So the reason I'm making this video is because I kind of wanted to explain the situation from a guy's point of view, somebody that worked in the automotive industry for the past five years. So when I first got my job, I literally knew nothing, I had no knowledge, I was still in the 11th grade, I didn't know how to help customers, I didn't know how to use the computers to look up parts, so I was kind of useless when I started. Luckily there was a lady that worked in the service department, she's been there a long longer than I had, she had a lot more experience and a lot more knowledge than I ever could. There's other people that would kind of tell me how to do my job, but she would actually take the time to show me and kind of explain everything I needed to know throughout the years. And I have seen firsthand her being mistreated, not only by customers, but also other employees throughout the years. So, so the first thing I will say is, throughout the years, she'd always get taken out of the automotive department. She'd be put into parts, but she would not be in control of service anymore. They'd either take somebody that is already working there in another department and put them in the service position, or they would hire somebody new for that position and just push her over to parts. Every time they would do that though, there'd be major screw ups where customers would keep getting pissed off and she'd always end up back in the position. She'd always end up back in service where she stayed for a long time and then it happened again. They'd pull her out and in my opinion, I think they always did it just because they never really wanted a female working in the service department and having that much power because she was the head of service. I don't think they wanted her in that position just because she was a woman. I think they just rathered a guy just because the misconception that guys are supposed to know it all, females aren't supposed to be in that job, yada, yada, yada. But to me, if you're getting paid for the job and if you know your job, you should. it shouldn't matter if you're a guy or a girl. You should be able to do the job. And she was honestly the best at the job. She outperformed everybody else that tried and got put into that position. Every time she would get put back in the position, she would be doing so much better. She'd get the shop earning money and she'd get the respect from the customers and the other staff, but she'd always get pulled away. So to me, I never agreed with it. I always wondered why they were doing it. I kind of thought it was because she was a girl working in the automotive industry, but still that doesn't make it right. Also, there was numerous times when customers would come in, especially whenever I first started, they'd come in, they'd come up to me, ask me for something, and because I was new and I didn't know much, I'd have to go to her, and a lot of customers would get pissed off. They'd either walk out or they'd start saying their smart remarks to her or just to me whenever I was alone, and to me, it makes no sense. She's there to help. She knows what she's doing. She's getting paid to do it. Let her help. To me, it doesn't matter if you're a guy or girl, if I'm going into a store and you are there, if I have a question or if I need assistance, I'm going to be asking you because you're in that position. That's what you're there for. And a lot of customers I've seen over the years, they don't care about that at all. They don't care if you know your stuff. They just want a guy to help them. And to me, that makes no sense. There was even one time that a customer came up to me. Now this is at the point where I knew a lot of the job. I knew everything really to help customers and to be able to help customers. But a customer came up to me and asked me a question. Now I don't remember the question exactly, but it was one of the most simple questions I've ever been asked at the job. And I knew the answer right away, but they only wanted to deal with me. They originally went up to her and just asked for a guy. They wouldn't even let her, they wouldn't even explain to her the question. So they came to me and asked me and it, it was the simplest question, but I thought if you're not even going to bother asking her and she knew the answer as well and just wanted to deal with the guy, I just played dumb. I said, sorry, I don't know. I don't have a clue of what you're asking me, but I know somebody that does. And I went and got her and you should have seen the look on their face. They were kind of in shock, a little bit embarrassed. And whenever I told her what the question was, she looked at me because she knew what I was doing because it was such a simple question that she knew I knew the answer, but I was just doing it for her to kind of not really get revenge on the customer, but to kind of tell the customer, hey, she does know what she's doing. So after that was all done, every time this customer came back in, he would only want to deal with her because he helped her out at that time which is fine, I don't care. But to me, I really wish more customers would be like that. I wish more customers would experience that firsthand and other guys that work in the industry would kind of do this once in a while 
just to prove to customers that the females can do their job and they're willing to help and they do know a lot more than the customers at times. So to me, I don't get it. I do understand why, because for the longest time, guys were always in the industry. It was a guys only industry. It's now 2018. Anybody can work pretty much any job. To me, it doesn't matter who is working from behind the counter. If they know their stuff, if they are in that position and I need assistance, I'm going to be getting help from them. And I just really wish other guys would do the same and other guys would feel the same on the situation. So that is kind of my opinion on the whole situation. I really wish more businesses and more places would kind of give women more of the opportunity, especially if they've already been in that position for a while. They obviously know how to do their job. They're being paid to do the job. They do know their job. And I really wish customers would kind of do the same thing because like I said already, it doesn't matter if there's a guy or girl behind the counter. If I need assistance and they are wearing the uniform, they're working there, I'm going to go up to them and ask for help because that's what they're there for. They're supposed to be there to help. Now, if they don't know the answer, that's okay too. Not everybody that works in that position is going to know every single answer that comes their way, but they should at least know how to get you the answer. So they'll at least help you out by finding you somebody that will know the answers. So that's kind of all I wanted to talk about today. If you are a female that works in the automotive industry or any other male dominated industries, I want to hear from you. Comment down below other experiences you guys had with this whole situation of customers mistreating you or management mistreating you or anything you might have. Just let me know down in the comments. I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please take care. Peace.